Carpenter bees. It's spring and they have emerged. That's one. That's two. I located all the galleries There's I could find and marked them. Number three. A little bit difficult to see, but number four is right there. Here we go. And came back with foaming spray. Then I plugged up the holes with some nail hole filler because it's all I had on hand. Nail hole filler into the hole. First, I need a hole in the end of the board that will fit this bottom cap mostly in. And this year, I thought I'd try making a carpenter bee trap. Beautiful. I'm going to try this Bondic. I don't know if this is. This stuff is just too old. Never mind. All right, we need something else. Well, the Bondic didn't work, so let's try hot glue. I should have measured before I drilled that hole because I want this the center to be about an inch from the edge. And I think I want to reuse these holes for hanging it, so I want to take off about that much. That's a good start. The hole goes in about that deep. I need to meet. You drill a hole in the side at an angle that meets about there. The idea is to make a tunnel in untreated wood that looks like an abandoned carpenter bee nest, but it ends in a bottle that they can't climb out of or fly out of. While I was editing this video and browsing online more information, 
I realized I'd made a mistake. That should not be three eighths. That needs to be a half inch, so let's fix it. All right, let's go put it back up. The bees have liked this tight space between untreated post and the vinyl siding, so we're gonna give them something similar about right there. But that will still let me see what it is. We'll post a follow up in a few weeks and let you know if that worked or not. I'm Steve from Workbench C. Have a great day. Well, that wasn't so good. Let's try that again. Holding it.